Hello, welcome again. This time, question five. Let's see what it says. A 230 volt machine draws a current of 18 amps with a power factor of 0.9. It's kind of the same as before, it's kind of dull. Calculate the power dissipated by the machine and draw a scale drawing to calculate reactive power. Okay, so it is the same as what we've done before, but this time we're going to do a scale drawing to calculate the reactive power. Now, you just need one side and the angle, really, and you can kind of get everything else with the scale drawing. Back in the day, we used to do this. I say me, I've always had a calculator, but uh, we as a species used to do it uh, by scale drawings and trick tables. Um, but now, we've got handy little calculators. So, let's have a look at this. I don't think I'm gonna do this on the whiteboard because I haven't got a big whiteboard protractor, so it wouldn't be very accurate. So, um, let's cut to the top-down view. First off, what do we know? what don't we know? So we've got a 230 volt machine draws current of 18 amps and it's got a power factor of 0 0.9 volts, amps, P, F. Calculate the power dissipated by the machine, so that's watts. and draw a scale drawing to calculate reactive power. Okay. So, what have we got? What we haven't we got? We know the cosine of the angle of our power triangle. So, we know the cosine of this angle, which means we can get the angle by doing cosine to the minus one. Of 0.9. Let's do that first. We got uh, 25.84 degrees. Okay, so it's building a picture of our triangle. Uh, we can also get VA here. Our hypotenuse 230 volts times 18 will give us our VA. So 4140. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw another little triangle here to remind me. 4140 and that's 25.84 degrees. So that's pretty much all we need to build this scale drawing really. The next thing we need to do is decide what the scale is. Now we've got the VA, which is going to be the longest side. So, what about one centimetre per hundred? That would be 41.4 centimetres. Um, that might be a bit too big for this page, so we'll go with two centimetres per hundred. So that's 20.7 centimeters. But I don't quite know, you know which angle to do yet. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna draw like an arbitrary horizontal line. It doesn't really matter. And this is gonna represent what? Doesn't matter how long it is at this stage. It's just something to do my angle from. So now, come down here, line that up, 25.84. Ooh, don't like these ones. It's about there. Okay, so I've got a mark of my angle. Let me say 20.7 at that angle. Okay, and that's it done actually, because now all I've got to do is 
find a right angle. Got one of them. And draw straight down from here. And then I've got the watts distance and the VAR distance. This is 25.84 degrees, <coughs> and this will be our VA value. Zero. Line that up nicely. So now it's just a case of measuring off each side. So I'll just check this. And just remember that our scale is two centimeters equals 100. And I'm not putting any units there because it's going to be the same scale for each side. So it'll be watts, VAR, or VA. So this is measuring, uh, like we said, 20.7. Centimeters. For this one, I'm just representing our watts. So I've got 18.8. Uh, I'll write that. 18.8 centimeters. And VAR. 8.8 right so let's turn that into something useful so 8.8 .8 times 2 and then times 100 so we get 1760 VAR and our watts we've got 18.8 times 2 times 100 3760 watts Uh, and that's how you do the scale drawing. That's 25.84 degrees. Now I'm just going to go over that <clears throat> just to make it a bit clearer. Um, I could use my like, drawing pen, but ah, then we all have a sharpie, don't we? Um, which colour though? <laughs> oh. Orange. Don't know why. Just this. There we go. Scale drawing. We know our VAR, 1760. We know our watts, 3760. We know our VA was 4140, which would also be times two, because it was two centimeters uh, per 100. Times 100, and then you'll get the answer. So 20.7 times two times 100. Four one four hour again, which was the VA we calculated, two hundred and thirty volts times eighteen. There we go. So there we go. Question five, all done and dusted. Join me next time. See ya.